YouTube, Israel. You know, I was just watching. Sorry about the lighting in here. here. It's irrelevant. <laughs> if you can see me. That's what I'm saying. You know, I was watching uh, past one of pastor's videos. And, uh, you know, you don't say, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't care what people think about him. And I was reflecting on that. And I was like, that's, man, that's just the truth. I don't give a goddamn what anybody thinks of me. And I'm thinking, wow, people couldn't even hear what I just said because I said the word God and the word damn. But let me tell you, you wicked religion of Christianity, your God is damn. Because your God isn't the most high. It isn't the real Jesus, the real Messiah. It's Satan, the devil. And that's your God, and he is damned. So that's a that's a very true statement. You know, I'm just man. You think, oh, you know, he used the Lord's name in vain. You know. Doing that is when you when you say you're something and you're not. When you say you're a follower of Jesus and you don't do what he says, you've used his name in vain. The Father says he won't hold him guiltless. Who does that? God damn it, and you, you don't keep the Sabbath, you don't keep Yah's feast, of course it's not for you, heathens, to do that. You see, that's the thing that, that a lot of us get jacked up with, is you should be doing this, it's like, no, 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 no. Those people, that that's for them. Their idolatry is for them. Their Christmas trees, you know, Nimrod, all, I mean, research and stuff for something. That's for them. Halloween is for them. Uh, Ishtar, Easter is for the pagan nations. They're filling their cup. This is for them to do. The Masonic Lodge, the, um, the worship of Baphomet. Um, these are all for these heathens to do. But see, nowadays, heathens, you know, Satan's brilliant. Don't be deceived. He's brilliant. He's the master of deception and the father of all lies. He has gotten the heathen to grab the word of Yah and claim it as theirs as they practice heathenism. He had this a master deception. An absolute master deception. He does. Like Bass will do. He deserves a plot. He got the whole world as their deceived as they surf demons, pagan gods, as as they serve themselves, their idolaters, to think that they're the people of the book. Oh shit. I mean, and you can look at someone and tell them that, and you say you keep the law, statutes, and commandments, just like Jesus says, he says, if you love me, you obey my, you obey the commandments. I'm, it's all about obedience. And it's never going to pair, even, even in the book of Revelation, it's talking about, you know, during the, uh, the, the millennial reign, we're going to be going to the Father, and, and if you don't, it's not going to rain. It's for the feast. You know? Tabernacles, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, why are we keeping feasts in the future if he already did away with them 2,000 years ago? I mean, why is the Apostle Paul, Saul, why is he, why is he going to keep the feast after Jesus died? Jesus made him appear to him on the Damascus, uh, Damascus Road. And told him, you know, why you persecute me. Or, you know, no, I'm sorry. He said, you know, he asked him who he was. And he says, it's me, Jesus, who you persecute. Who 
Hebrews is another thing altogether. You all persecute us Israelites, not these black Hebrew Israelites. Those are nothing but a bunch of black supremacists, just like white supremacists, but the opposite spectrum, black supremacists. That's, that's a whole nother story altogether. But you persecute us. You talk bad about us. You accuse us. And all we're doing is what the book says. You, you say, because we keep the law that pertains to us, not the law of you know, menstruating women, not the law of the Levitical priesthood, not the law of the... the you know, there's many, many laws. You're like, well, there's over 600 and something. You know, there's over a million something in, in, in America. And you, you strive to keep all of them. But you, you think, you know, you've been graced half to death by Christianity. I mean, man, this pastor's gone over and over and over. Ah, you know, my master, Pastor Dell, and I have many masters over me, my elders, um, many wise men. Some of the assembly heads, they're, they're, they're masters over me. And, and I'm blessed to have that. There's security, there's safety in that. It's a beautiful blessing. I mean, on my Facebook page, you know, it's uh, Passover and it's the elders and pastor and, and, and teachers up there. And man, it's a blessing to have these men. These men love the Father. These men um, seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. His righteousness is right ruling. You know, Father says he wants us to have loving commitment, to be lovingly committed to one another, not to screw each other over, which is the American, you know, thing. And shit, that's the way I was taught. I mean, man, it's taken a long time. I went along, I went far in this world, into my 40s. The Father, you know, Father saw it fit to, to call me out of it, and I'm so blessed. so blessed to even know his name to even to even to have his laws in my heart so I can keep them I can't keep them without him I can give a very feeble attempt but without him I can't keep them he put them in there man that's that's amazing I mean that's beautiful it's not I just I believe it. it's what he said he would do and he did it like everything something if we could be the same and if everything we said we could do I'm, I'm guilty of that and I'm, I'm striving hard to overcome the things you know that's, that's you know, the things that I've still got hallelujah just striving to be a better man every day to be more righteous to be to be more like my father to, to strive to be perfect you know and upright some religious weirdo just full of love and compassion you know considering another you know like myself not being jealous of people not being envious you know
learn obedience through that. Like, like Pastor just said, or, or no, no, it was Teacher Shane, but Pastor said, if everybody said it, you know, these things happen to us. We go through things. I mean, I've been through a ton of shit since I've, I've been here. In five years, I think it's five years, um, I came here within a couple months of, of uh, coming to Straight Free for the first time. And I'll tell you what, I remember it was long before Pastor had said, not that that means anything, to, uh, you know, pray for a double portion of his spirit. I was like, wow, I prayed for a double portion of Pastor's spirit. I asked the Father for that. And I honestly, I had no idea what I was asking for. Thinking I would just get a double portion of his spirit. But you know what a man has to go through to have a spirit like that? suffering accusation of people that's not true your name's slandered and just wiped like shit a man of sorrows hasn't done a damn thing to people but they treat him like the devil man I'll tell you what shit hit the fan in my life after I made that prayer I've learned, and I'm still learning obedience by the things that I suffer. And I've suffered. I glorify the King. I know it's going to make me a better man. It's, it's for my perfection. It's for my perfection. He loves me that much. Wow. And for all you thinking, you know what I'm saying? I have a double portion of the, uh, of, uh, a bastard out spirit. I'm not saying that, but that's what I asked for. And I saw exactly what that what that takes. I still want it. I still want that. I still want that. A closer walk with you. It comes with great persecution. Being hated of everybody, even your brethren. So-called brethren. But the true brethren, woo! love it at the feast days. I know them. I see them. I, I feel it in your hugs. And for some of you, I don't feel it in your hugs. It's all its all a game. It's a religious facade. It's a joke. It's a joke. And it's only to your demise. I'll tell you what. Repent of your wicked ass ways and turn to the Father. Guard His, his, his Torah. Guard His laws statutes and commandments. Keep the feast. Keep the Shabbat. Guard it with your life. I bless the Most High. I bless you, Israel. Man, be encouraged. Woo! Your name's written down. Hallelujah. And you're going to suffer great things. And be like the, the, the apostles who, when they were beaten and, and treated like shit, they, they went rejoicing because they were counted worthy to suffer for his name. Man, I was listening to that yesterday. I don't care how many times I hear it. It's just, man, it's faith like that. A realization like that of what's really going on when people talk about you and harass you and torment you. And, and treat you wrong and do you wrong and lie on you. Know what's really going on. And bless the most high. Be in peace, Israel. The true Israel. Hallelujah. Looking forward to Passover. Shalom, Israel. Shabbat's coming.